place, yeah. Now only jar with the place, man. I put the hustle on my chest now. Nah. I'm living a vast life, you know. Now my music they make scene now. Everywhere where I enter, now loyalty I will receive now. Nah. Okay, this copyright. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I just got off my stepper. And y'all see, this song give you energy, okay? I'm sweating. Hush me is me, hush me is you, hush me is us. Before I get ready to jump into reactions, I am a little hungry. But I want to show y'all when I want cereal, what I do eat, okay? So one of the cereals that I am trying uh that is keto friendly, okay? It is called Catalina Crunch Honey Graham Cereal. Uh, you have zero sugars, 11 grams of protein, which is pretty good, and nine grams of fiber. As you can see that this cereal is vegan, uh, plant-based, uh, high in fiber, and no sugar alcohol, okay? Also, let me show you the other cereal I eat. Well, y'all remember I came on and I talked about Pearly Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. Uh, Pearly Elizabeth uh, with the granola, okay? She also has cereal. This one here is vanilla blueberry almond, okay? And it's also a superfood cereal. This is a real good cereal, y'all. Good flavor, I'm telling you. Um, it is vegan, plant-based, however you want to call it. So... Then that's where I say you have two good brands. You have these cereals that was created by a diabetic. So if you deal or you are a diabetic yourself, these cereals are really good. Um, zero sugar, okay? They still use some type of sweetener. I'm not really sure. Stevia, okay? It has stevia. Um, so yeah, those are my go-to. I have these cereals. I always add a banana in them, also with some almond milk or oat milk. So I am about to make me a bowl of cereal now, and I'm just going to allow y'all to, you know what I'm saying? Just see, I mean, vegans do eat good too. You just gotta find what works best for you. So if you get either one, okay, add you a little banana to it, girl. Make it a whole. I'm just saying with some almond milk, some oat milk, some coconut milk, and some dairy-free milk. How else? Are you going to turn on your mic? Okay, chill. There you go. Tears 
All right, write your code. Write, write my color? So y'all look, I found vegan donuts. Open the box. So I have a strawberry donut and I also have a maple donut. And then I have a, this is also a vegan pig in the blanket. And it is called the Dream Boat. How's you miss me? How are y'all on this morning? Y'all see I put a few clips beforehand. Today is actually Sunday. I am in the real time right now. Y'all are getting me actually on Sunday. Today is June uh, 30th, okay? June 30th. Uh, the clips that I put in before was some that I had in my phone already. And uh, just putting some... Uh, toner uh anyways that i had in my phone already and i needed to clear them out just so i have more room because y'all know i'm working with one phone right now i normally work with two but i'm about to have two so i can come over here to y'all more okay i can open my creativity over here more um and just do a little different things take y'all out and all those things Right now, I only have a whole lot of storage for reactions. And I say, well, that is my main channel. Uh, this one is a wind down. Other side of it's la la. Uh, just growing, okay? Allowing my mental to rest and all those things. Just, you know, good words. And y'all already know, I ain't got to tell y'all. So, <clears throat> anyways, um... Thank you to a lot of y'all that was going out purchasing the black soap. I still use black soap, y'all. But as I told y'all before, I opt out. Um, I use my survey. I've been using survey for like two years, maybe. Okay, it works hella good. Um, I don't know about nothing else. This here is what I use about two years. Uh, just jumped into the black African soap. It works wonders. So sometimes I I just opt out, okay? I might do survey in the morning and then wash my face with black soap at night. It just depends on how I feel. So anyways, <clears throat> the reason why I came on <clears throat> and uh, was showing y'all me doing my face real quick because I don't have to show y'all this because y'all already seen it, okay? Basically, at the end of the day, y'all can actually tell somebody what it's Lala used for a face. I still use the snail mucin as well on my face. But uh, 
I'm showing y'all my face is because I want to show y'all something. Okay, so this is the snail mucin, mucin y'all. Let me bring y'all clothes. Y'all see? Mm, look at my skin. Mm -hmm. It's la la. That's it. Um, so I'm gonna let this dry a little bit. Then I'm gonna show y'all the other one. I have a promotion, um, a basically sponsored video that I have to do. It is by Go Pure. Okay, y'all probably have seen it before. They say, um, they it's reviewed on TikTok. Okay, so I've been trying this for maybe hmm, probably about two weeks, y'all. I don't never get a product and I just go like, voila, let me um, give a review about it and I know nothing about it. Okay, so this is a serum, as y'all can see, and I opened it up just basically so I could show y'all on this side. It's been open. I've been using it, like I said, probably two weeks now. Um, y'all getting this first, okay? It's Lala. This is a sponsor. Uh, it's supposed to be a sponsorship. It is a sponsorship. So I have to push the product, okay? So anyway, this is a dramatically dewy serum, okay? And I just want to show y'all. Um, it's a good moisture. I say it's almost like a moisturizer, right? But I want you to see my skin after I put it on, okay? If you like that dewy effect on your skin to give you like a little glow, okay? Your skin don't look dry at all. Okay, so I'm rubbing it in. Y'all pay attention, okay? I'm rubbing it in. Mm -hmm. Y'all already see it, right? Okay. You see it, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then I'm coming on this side. And I'm rubbing it in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now, I rub it in at the top. So... I'm rubbing it in. And it's not watery. It's pretty good. And I say very yellow. Yeah. Okay. And your face is moisturized now. Mm -hmm. Take a look, y'all. Y'all see it? Mm -hmm. Light. Now, can y'all see it? Look, you see my face? So, when I put the information out on the other video, I would say get some of this, try it. I also have the cleanser, the toner, uh, the Dramatically Dewy Serum, which I have. They also have it in the eye cream and moisturizer and SPF, okay? This here is good, y'all. Okay, I'm, try I'm trying to tell you. When I know something good, I stick to it. Okay, so I don't need a toner. I don't need a, a none of that. So it is dermatologist approved. It is cruelty free. It is vegan, and it is gluten free. So dramatically do dewy serum. As you can see, it has the hyal hyaluronic acid. Uh, it also has acid complex, and it also has, I can't never say that, his hibiscus, hibiscus fruit, and extract. I, I hope I said it right. I don't know. I have to work on that. Uh, but at it, that's everything that's in there. And as y'all can see my face, it's not dry at all. It has a little, little, little glow to it. So, yeah. So, if you ever wonder in my videos, like, okay, so what is she doing now to her skin? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Other side of that is drinking water, um, eating as I should, and that's it. So, believe in your beautiful, okay? We all are beautiful. Remember that, okay? You don't need the makeup and all that shit to make you look beautiful. You take care of your natural skin. Pop you some lip gloss on. Pop you a little blush if you want to pop. And get you some eyelashes if you like eyelashes. Leave all that cake in, uh, and, and powder and foundation. We don't need that. Especially when it's hot as fuck outside. In Texas. I can go outside in Texas with no clothes on. And I still won't be cool. So anyways, y'all. The reason why I'm here today is Hershey meets me. Hershey meets you. I was going to... 
um, get up and maybe cook breakfast. I thought I was going to maybe make me breakfast. Make me some little just eggs, plant-based eggs with little sweet peppers and all that. But I did a little cleanse yesterday and I am not hungry this morning. So I won't be having it. If I get hungry, if it's not then rolled over into, you know, lunch or, you know, the eat afternoon, I might drink me a Slim Fast. As I told y'all, caramel latte Slim Fast. Don't sleep on it. Purchase it. When you drink it, I put mine's in the refrigerator. I make sure mine's is it's really cold. I like mine's cold and I just, it's very, it's very good, y'all. And it will work, okay? It will help to crave me. It will help cut back on them different cravings, okay? And things like that. And then you'll find yourself saying, did I eat? I didn't even eat. And then I, I continue on to get across to y'all. I don't know how all of them work. I know that since it is the brand of Slim, Slim Fast, they all is supposed to work the same. But for me, that one works for me. The other ones, they don't do anything. Gives you energy, keep you going, and it'll curb your appetite. So anyways, y'all. So, how are we doing on this Sunday? I hope everybody is doing good, great, and amazing, okay? If y'all follow me on It's Lala, thank you so much for y'all's support, okay? This is where I can just come down, get my mind off of everything, and say, I thank y'all so much for the support. I am so grateful, okay? Very grateful just seeing things just flourish, okay? A lot of people don't understand why I do and why I say and do the things that I do because it's a point and it's a purpose behind everything, okay? I'm not just landed in a seat and being a bully or malicious, no. Um, it's something that I believe I should be doing and that's what I'm giving. And I just appreciate everybody for just seeing me for who I am and what I give. I appreciate that to the fullest. Um, and I just want to say, I love you all, okay? I get so many of y'all saying, I love you, Lala. My family love you. I love you all. And to your family, okay, extended family, however, I love y'all too. And I thank everybody, okay? I'm, I'm very appreciative of all the support. Uh, <clears throat> okay, very humble with it, okay? When people tell me about my numbers and all those things, it's like... It's surprising to me because I don't keep up with it, okay? I don't been on YouTube so long. I know how it worked. I know how when I jumped in at the beginning, I used to try to hurry up before anybody else to put the story out there and all that. I don't do that anymore. I allow it to, to sit and marinate. I make sure that the things that I'm saying is correct and I observe, so then that's why I say if y'all ever get me like a day behind, that's why, okay? I never come try the same day trying to hear up and jump. I'm not running after nobody like that. I've been on YouTube for a very long time. A very long time to know how this mess works. Uh, to also know how other people would try to gun for you because they trying to eat, okay? And they trying to get somewhere. So, it's it's how it goes. So, then that's why I say if y'all are some of the ones that follow me over there or subscribe to me over there on It's La La. I not really know majority of y'all is, okay? Um, and a lot of y'all was trying to tell me about another channel, okay? I would say I hear no evil. I see no evil. Um, I don't know if people really think I'll be in the YouTube streets like that, but I really don't. I, I go... I be down in this side, and I say this side because it's two different sides. And I watch of what this breeder is giving and the things with her kids. And I sit back and I observe, I, I jot down, I do all that. And when I'm done with that for the day, then I go to the YouTube channels that I actually watch. You know, just like, um, let's see who do I watch. Let's throw some names out there. I watch uh, Queen, Queen of Kings, okay, <laughs> Rose. I watch, um, let's see, Peyton, I watch her sometimes. I watch Lily Yours Truly. I watch, um, who else do I watch? I watch Be Love sometimes. I watch Yara Now Yummy Bites sometimes, okay? The vibe on her. Let's see who else I watch. It's so many people that um, I come across and I watch, okay? So, which means I'm not landing and staying, just seeing 
drama or what somebody got going. I don't stay in that position. I only jump here because it's something for me to see and talk about. And when I'm done, I jump out. So I'm not aware of what anybody is saying about me in the background. You understand? I'm not aware of what people are trying to, I would say, knock me off or get me distracted. I'm not aware of any any of that. And I say, I'm not aware of any of that. It's because it's not for me to see. Okay, if it was for me to see it, then I will run across it. But <clears throat> then that's where I say, gunning for my attention, gunning to think that you're going to get some type of reaction out of me, gunning to think, well, they brought me up, they talking about me, I'm going to run over there and I'm going to... No, okay, because it's Lala, -la, it's who I am, that's what I represent, okay, and this is how I present myself within a seat, okay, if I have to go off on somebody, I definitely will, but that ain't just me running around here just ready to read everybody, because at the end of the day, know it or not, that is draining, and then I look at it, if you're not worth my time and my energy, boo, I don't see you, I don't hear you keep talking about me, because this is YouTube, this is what YouTube give and do, and for anybody to say, well, they coming after my family, yeah. as I told y'all before, child, go have several seats, okay, I done gave y'all open opportunity, do whatever y'all want to do, docs, do whatever you want to do. I still live my life. I still sit in my reaction seat. I still jump over here to Hershey me and I continue to give me. You can't go against me and you can't do nothing about it. And that's what I was saying on this day. Anyways, y'all, so I brought my little pie churl. God, these are my pie churls, y'all. Uh, in here and I was just going to sit down with y'all. Okay, I'm crooked. And, uh, just basically talk. Y'all see, y'all see, I got on my little, and my little bunny. I was gonna go in there and cook breakfast, y'all, but my kids still sleep. They stay up to three, and oof, child, the times be so crazy. So that's why sometimes with my reaction videos, they be coming out late because I still be up, and then during the day, I be trying to, you know, make sure everybody is good. It's summertime, kids don't just want to stay stuck in the house. They want to get out. They want to eat outside the house and all those things. So, it's just like normally I be on a time frame, boom, boom, boom. But I try to, um, what would I say? I don't even know the word. My brain ain't working right now. But I try to, you know, make sure everybody good and still put my video out, okay? That's what I say. Still be consistent at what I do. But I will be changing up, y'all. I think over there with reactions, I will be trying to post Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday. But I'm pushing for Monday through Friday. And then Hershey Me will be my weekend. My, basically, probably Sunday and Saturday is my free day. And probably Friday is my free day, uh, too. Um... Yeah, yeah. So, anyways, y'all, let's talk about y'all seeing that I put out the surgery video with my son. Okay, a lot of y'all was wanting some updates. Keep y'all updated. Uh, let's see. He is going on four weeks. Is it four weeks? January third? No, I think three weeks. I want to say three weeks, y'all. It could be three weeks going into four weeks. But I'm thinking it's three weeks. If I'm wrong, I could be wrong, child. It'd be so much crap on my brain. Um, so, he's doing good and great. He's doing well. He's healing. The, they went in, let's see, uh, a scar from right here, the incision to the side right here, um, which went in through the skull, okay, to go in and get most of the plexiform, which is the plexiform had started moving by his brain, which kind of shifted his brain over some. If y'all really listen to the video, I allowed the doctor to speak and also for y'all to hear the details. Um, with this plexiform, this plexiform he had, and when I say plexiform, tumor for us. A lot of y'all that probably don't know what a plexiform is. It is benign, okay? It's not cancerous or anything. It's a plexiform that he had since he was he was born with it okay he was born with it but we could not see it when he was from an infant all the way up to maybe he was mm, i would say probably three right three you was really able to start noticing it but you would think that he just had like a sleepy eye or a lazy eye 
is what you call it. So over time, uh, the eyelids started to get more puffy. It always looked like it was swollen or somebody hit him in his eye, something like that. So having it since birth, the tumor was very slow growing, okay? So now with him being 20, the tumor has, yes, it has grown. Um, it had shifted his brain over a little bit out of position. Uh, the wall that's up behind the eye by the brain, it had destroyed that. And as the doctor said, also some membranes. So when they went in, it was a lot of liquid, okay? This was a very risky surgery, okay? Um, as y'all heard him say several times, you could lose your vision, nerve damage, also start to have, um, what would I say, seizures, uh, and just anything can go wrong with messing close by the brain, okay? Simple as that. But everything was a success. It went good and great. 11 and a half hours, which was a very long time. But when the doctor came out, he was smiling and he was like, they're so uh, happy with their job and what they gave and what they did and the outcome and the results that they are actually seeing now. Yeah, this is a surgery that he has always wanted. Okay, just imagine going through uh, your childhood, school, junior high, high school. Um, I think high school was better. Junior high was better for him, but elementary was very hard. Junior high was very hard. People not understanding why is your eye like that. All these different things. This, what was he, three? I think that's when we start to notice it. Okay, it was getting... Um, bigger. So when we decided to take him, we thought just maybe it was just a sleepy eye, lazy eye, but it wasn't. When they finally looked at him, they said it was something wrong. It looked like it could be a mess or something behind the eye. Okay, so when they went in and they finally did a test, it was just a uh, plexiform, which was in his orbit behind his eye. So just imagine, slowly as it grow, it will cause the eye to bulge, okay? So, dealing with that all through the years, okay? Just imagine, okay? Your young man trying to get through it and nobody understands what you are dealing with, what's wrong, what's going on, uh, just too immature and young to understand. So then you say, where do I get my strength from? I think that's just my strength been built the whole time. Just trying to keep him good, great and straight and focused and allowing him to know this is how God wanted you to be. If he didn't want you to be this way, he would have created you different. Um, where does it stem from? They say genetics, okay? It could come from maybe some on his father's side, somewhere down the line on my side, I don't know, okay? Um, the name is the neural fibromatosis. You have NF1 and you also have NF, okay? He just had basically NF, okay? NF is a slow growing, okay? You have a lot of people that's out here that have NF1. Pneumofibromatosis, one, okay, you see where it's multiple tumors that's conjoined in different places. It could be your face, it could be anywhere on your body, okay? So, I say it's a blessing that he just has NF, okay? Um, also, with that, you'll notice that they have a lot of caffeole spots. And you say, what is caffeole spots? Um, they look like birthmarks. Okay. He had a lot of those when he was born. I'd probably say like look like 17 birthmarks here and there on his body. But that is a sign of having a neurofibromatosis NF. Um I also always try to get him to come on YouTube and just basically talk about his story and different things like that because I have seen a lot of uh young kids or young adults on here that actually have it. That have it more worse off than him. But he always said, no, 
no, no. Because I would say it would be a good thing to encourage somebody else that, hey, I have it. I got through school. I'm done with school. I still have friends. I still did my day-to-day. -day. Um, but he said, no, he didn't want to. So anyway, as I said, he was like maybe 10, 11. He had a vision. Okay, He had a vision of him seeing that his eye was normal and better. Okay, we had already went, I want to say he was around mm, maybe eight or nine, where we went through a surgery where they went behind the eye to actually debulk it. Okay, take some of the tumor out to relieve some of the pressure and some of the bulge. That worked for a little bit, but since it's a slow growing tumor and it grows along with you, okay, until your growth is at a standstill, it continues to still grow, okay? Um... And every time we go get an MRI, it'll grow like a centimeter here, a half a centimeter. It's just little here and there. But anyways, okay, he, um, just to cut it short, finally had his surgery. Everything looks good and amazing. Um, I think they just said no more to the bulking. We already did that once and we've seen what it done. You is 20 now, so it should, the growth of it should be at a standstill. So the best thing to do is to go in the school, okay? Go in there and try to get as much as they can. And that's what they did, okay? And it was amazing. And I seen one come in saying I was stressing. There was no stress at all. I really wasn't even in contact with like my mama and stuff during the surgery because she was full of worry, okay? And I didn't want that. My son wasn't scared. He said it's a gamble. Okay, so which means I take the risk, uh, you win, you lose some, it's a gamble. So then that's the attitude I had to have, okay? But I know God wouldn't place you in a position and not have his hands upon you or work through the doctors, okay? This was not what we thought it was going to be. It was something totally different. So then you say, this is not the doctors. This is God that is actually allowing you to have okay, that miracle that you've been wanting, okay? So, he's still in the healing process, can't work or nothing yet, but everything is going good. And I just thank y'all so much for y'all prayers, for the ones that reached out to me through email and um, DMs. I thank y'all so much, okay? Support system is everything. Um, I don't turn away anybody that want to pray. It's fine and okay, because we all need it. And I thank y'all so much for that. The crazy part is, being on this lot, like, y'all don't know what I have going on in the background because I feel like YouTube is not a place for me to display these certain things. Now, I have opened a channel up that gives you the downside of me. Look at me. I'm in my little, yeah, I'm in my bunny. Um... This is me, not in front of the camera, all, yeah, dolled up or glammed up. And I don't even be glammed up, for real. I just put my lip gloss on. I put a little, sometimes I put a little blush, her, her, and her, and I'll be ready to go, okay? But to actually see a side of me to say, man, I don't take no position for granted, okay? I'm grateful for everything. I am grateful when I say truly Okay, grateful for every supporter, every comment. I'm I'm grateful for it. Um, and I know that the more that I'm into this and opening up to this, I'm more accepting of a lot of things. Okay, um, just like the stuff that's taking place on It's Lala and other people. Okay, wanna you know come at me. When, when I see that in my comments, I be wanting to reply because that's me. It's like, <clears throat> I don't take nothing off no bra. You know, I reach you quick, fast. But there have been several times I'm getting ready to And it's like, why? What's the point? It's pointless. You're giving them what they want, okay? And then I erase it and say, just harden and be like, Oh, well, I have nothing else to say. I'm not there, okay? <clears throat> I don't need drama or anything to 
get my name out here. I just continue to give and do what I do. Reactions is my thing. And that's just what it is. Um, so I thank y'all so much. I thank y'all for just everything, okay? Everything. Y'all seen in the video I cut my baby hair off, okay? I sure did. I did that shit myself. I cut his dreads off. Um, the other half just ain't coming through. He want him to have them, but he wouldn't, he not, I told y'all before on this uh, not keeping it up, not doing anything. He took him swimming one day, y'all. He took him swimming one day and brought him back for me to wash his hair and have to retwist it and everything. I said, fuck no. Okay, at the end of the day, I'm not even gonna address or say anything to you because you know if you put this in here, it's your responsibility to take care of it, okay? It's not my job because I didn't ask for it. Man, I got them clippers so quick and I cut that shit off. And then when his dad came picked him up again, I said, voila, there you go. And my baby said, he said, you know, he was talking to his brother, you know women, they always wanna be in control. No, that ain't what it is. Tell your brother the truth. I put him in his head and I wasn't taking care of the main, the maintenance because you know with having locked in your hair, especially being a kid, they don't keep that shit up and I would have to retwist every two weeks. I don't want that job shit. Doing YouTube is enough and answering these comments is enough and doing everything else that I do is enough. So it's like, I don't want that job. So anyways, y'all, just basically wanted to sit down and tell y'all that, tell y'all thank you so much. Everything is going good and great. Maybe one day, I don't know, I can get on here and just allow him to talk to y'all and just talk about what it's like and what it was like and how he feel now. I try. But my kids, my baby, my baby is like me. He don't curl. He'll get in front of the camera. But my daughter and my son... You know, they, they from a different, yeah, yeah. They ain't, they ain't with the shits, okay? They just not. Um, so, all is good. Um, that was a very long day. It ain't worked out. I think he stayed in the hospital for about a week, a week and a day. A week and two days. Everything went well, okay? The outcome, the outlook, everything going is great. At first, I was worried about his vision in their eye, like they thought he was gonna lose it. But nope, it's here and it is good and strong as ever. So, we go through a lot of things in life. Uh, we're tested in life through a lot of situations. Um, and I just say, as I always say, life is a test. It's all about how you gonna pass the test. And I remember y'all, I told y'all before, I don't know if y'all um, actually listened, okay? Because I know a lot of people don't like talking videos, but as y'all can see, I like to talk. It was one moment I used to be shh, but now I'm open and I, I'm used to it, I'm comfortable and I talk. But I feel like with my son and him having um, the NF, I think, it was a test, okay? Because when I was younger, I think I was still in high school, about to graduate and get out. I said, I was doing a test or something. It was a high school, not high school, uh, a college course test that I was doing. And it was asking me something about if I ever had a child with a disability or anything wrong, how would I handle it? And then in my young days, not really knowing I, and just saying, shit, I'm out here, I'm out in the streets, uh, I ain't got time for that. I always said that, you know, um, I said, if I ever had a child that something was wrong or not right, I just give it up, you know, because I don't have time. I don't. And I think God allowed me to eat my words because... My son coming out and just having, you know, it's not the major, but having a tumor in his orbit by his eye, causing his eye to bulge or his lid to be puffy like somebody else socked him in his eye all the time. How do you deal with that? How Now, how is you going to deal with this? And I accomplished. Okay, a mother's love is a mother's love. And... It never changed.
okay? I am his strength, his backbone, his full support in every way possible. Um, wouldn't change, wouldn't go back, none of that. Um, so yeah, so I felt that out there before in a video on It's Lila saying, yeah, my son and this. And I think y'all seen him before. He probably had glasses on, shades on or something. But yeah. He's cool in the skin that he's in. He don't try to hide nothing. You accept me as I am. Accept me of being not like you and different. And I continue to say God made everybody different. That's just what it is. I have scoliosis. Y'all probably don't even know that, do y'all? Probably not. Yep, I have a little curve in my spine. Um, used to deal with that a lot when I was a kid. They wanted to do surgery and straighten it, but I was like, mm-mm, I ain't finna wear this brace for a long time, so I never did the surgery. But I'm perfectly fine. I could do everything. It's just scoliosis, okay? Um, so anyways, y'all, that's it. I hope that you took something from this Hershey Me, It's Me. Every time I come on and give Hershey Me, It's Me, I hope that y'all can take something from me. Either it is encouragement, either it is motivation, Either it is a new outlook of just being a parent, your situation, life in general. Um, <clears throat> even if it's a way to allow you to go against certain things in your life or I would say battle a test or anything that you are going through. I hope my wisdom, my knowledge, my strength, okay, my motivation, I hope it encourages you to enlighten something within your day on this day. Me giving her, she me, it's me, okay? Um, and I thank y'all so much. I love y'all so much. I thank y'all for the ones that have been riding with me for a very long time. From on the floor, moving on up. Um, and I just always say, this is just the beginning, the beginning of where I'm able to actually see. Um, and I always say, it's going to be so many that go against you or go against me. But I have to continue to ride and do me regardless, okay? With no distractions. Not allowing nothing to interfere, okay? It's called teamwork. Teamwork make the dream work. You got the La La Gang. We do our thing on these reactions, man. I thought I could have something else. And you got Hershey Me. Allow yourself to feel free. Breathing in. That real peace of the real me. Someone I thought I'd never be. But now I'm representing, speaking free, giving y'all that Hershey Me. It's Lala, it's me. Hershey Me and I'm flying free. I'm filled with peace. Can't you see? It's just the best of me. Never get the less of me. It's all within life. It's just a test for me. And as y'all can see, I'm just a real blessed me. Anyways, y'all, happy Sunday. I hope y'all continue to have a good and great one. I hope I sat down, kind of just chopped it up a little bit, uh, which I'll give y'all here, here, here. Uh, the rest, you got to go back to the video list of what the doctor said to give me more information. But, yes, I told y'all on Hershey Me, it's just a little splash here and there of my life of who I am. What I give, just opening up, allowing y'all to actually know me. Okay, who I am. Yes, I have a silly side. Yes, I have a cringy side. Yes, I just do whatever I want. Okay, as Beyonce, I'm a grown woman. Do, do, do whatever I want. I can be fast as I want. I can go hard as I want. I can be silly as I want. I can not give a fuck if I want. I'm a grown woman. Do what. Whatever I want, I can be your gift if I want. I can go all night long. I'm a grown woman. Hey, 
do whatever I want. Do whatever I want. So, um, yeah, y'all. That's all I want to give y'all on this day. Um, what you see is what you get. Nothing else, nothing less. You get nothing but the best when you ride with the best. Her, she, me, it's me. And that's all I give and do. Anyways, y'all, continue to have a good and great blessed Sunday. I hope y'all took something from me and it just brighten up your day. Continue to be that good and great person that you are. Don't never let nobody allow you to feel different or knock you off to second guess yourself or what you are giving. Okay. Anyways, y'all. So yeah. I'm about to make some breakfast real quick. Not for myself, but for the chickens. Okay, y'all know how I do it. You know how we do it. Fuck. Okay. Anyway, y'all, so y'all can watch me cook. Um, probably won't be no sound, no talking. I am washing. So the washer is going. Might be a lot of little noise around. So I am making some breakfast sausage maple. I bought these from Aldi, y'all. My kids say they taste pretty good. I wouldn't know. I wouldn't tell you the bomb, but it smells like syrup, so hmm. they might be good. I don't know. I'm making these. And some eggs, of course. Y'all, don't forget. Slim paste. Okay. Corma latte. Don't forget. Um, what else? I also drink these, y'all. You see? Kabucha. 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 And also, the brew dog. Okay? Don't sleep on it. Anyway, y'all. Eggs. 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 Don't worry about my shorts, okay? Mind the business uh, that you work. Yep. Because you know my yeah, be like this, girl. If y'all know what the leaves and the trees and the grass is, I mean, comprehend. I ain't got to tell you to the end, outside. Yeah. I got my skeleton. So with these, everybody will get three, okay? Three for my baby, three for my son, three for my daughter. Only cook my eggs either in the bacon grease or if it's soft sausage grease yeah and add a little butter it makes the flavor even better I guess so I'm putting cheese in there add a little milk y'all black pepper seasoning all right y'all so now 
I'm about to make some toast. Y'all see me? I already made my eggs, my eggs with my cheese. I already made the sausage. So now I'm about to do some strawberry toast. I have the bread, I have the butter, just gotta get the jelly. I am using strawberry jelly today. Last time I did breakfast with y'all, I had grape jelly, right? Mm, so we got strawberry jelly today. So anyways, y'all, let's make some toast. So y'all, look at that. This is strawberry preserves. Mm, black burns. I got this from Aldi, y'all. Have y'all ever heard black burns? I think my grandfather used to eat something of black burns. I think it was black burns syrup, or maybe it was rabbit syrup, if I'm not mistaken. But look at that. Hmm. I guess. Me never know. So I have two toasts. How do y'all make y'all toast? Do y'all put butter on and then jelly? I do butter and jelly. There you have it, strawberry toast, cheese, eggs, and maple sausage. That is the Sunday's breakfast, okay? I get up and I make breakfast, then I start the rest of my day. Happy Sunday. I hope y'all have a good and great. Remember, Hershey me, it's me. Hershey me, it's you. Hershey me, it's been some years and months we've been involved. Why are you acting like it's nothing? I know it's something. All in your persona can tell when you bluffing We've been down and out Know you need your space, I ain't tripping off your whereabouts Just don't call me when you remember the shit you care about And you wonder why I'm heartless, girl, you tear it out All the way 